Hey everybody, it's Jonah here, and this is Soren, and we're back with a two months post op update. Indeed. Uh, if you want to hear about it, please watch the video. Sorry for the super long wait. I think at this point we're probably um, how many weeks after surgery? Oh, we are nine. Obviously, the swelling has gone down from the last time you guys have been seeing us. I, I, we haven't had a, um, made a video since I think early June. Yeah. Um, today is July twenty third, twenty fourth. Fourth. July twenty fourth. Um, since then, I actually had another surgery. Um, about uh, two weeks after. I had jaw surgery, I ran into a door frame. Yeah, we've been working on not bumping into stuff. <laughs> we don't want to take another trip back to the, uh, the surgery. Yeah. Yep. And hit my, I think I clipped my, clipped my halo about here, and it actually knocked my halo loose, and this halo part, which is now above my eyebrows, was actually down somewhere in front of my eyes, and I couldn't see past it. And I had another surgery to essentially um, unscrew all of these these pins except the last one and to pull the halo up um, and in turn that actually caused some issues because we'd been pulling my maxilla so far down because it was it was tilted down that when we raised it up it pulled my whole face up with it so i i got a deviated septum from that which yep. is the cartilage in, in my nose he got to over. join the deviated septum club i, I did because <laughs> i want to Hey everybody, so I just had another surgery, I'm waking up to mass right now, anesthetic, excuse me, um, consciously I'm all here, physically I'm pretty slow, um, I'm waking up, but um, the general procedure was to unscrew everything, except the back screw pivot everything up so this is out of my line of vision and it has helped tremendously. I can already see. I don't have to look over it anymore. Uh, <laughs> this is where it's supposed to be. I do notice a few differences in position of the wall of tux. They feel a little higher. That's because they were getting pulled down and stretched lower earlier. Um, I just talked to my surgeon. They said everything is needed. I mean, is where it's uh, needed to be. And I'm doing okay. I'm a little congested. For whatever reason, I don't know why that is. Go away. Um, apple juice tasting good. You know, I was on a low dose anesthetic. Uh, the whole procedure maybe took a half hour, 20 minutes, so not too bad. Uh, you don't remember any of it. Pretty sure I was unconscious, but uh, yeah, this will make it tremendously easier for me. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. It's worth it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get some more apple juice and then I'll see you later. After that I was on um, oxycodone for another week and a half. Week. Yeah. It was not a good situation. I no. I got really depressed. I had a lot of anxiety about it because I was starting to finally get to a point where I was okay with my face and my face completely changed again. And I think since then, it's gotten a lot better. My nose has calmed down. Um, yeah. Before, like, my nose was like, looking like that. So. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's good that Soren's, Soren at least doing it a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. But it was hard on everybody Every, involved everyone. because Soren was sleeping until 2 and he didn't want to go out in public or leave his room. And yeah. our, our dad recently had rotator cuff surgery. And her mom was working really hard to take care of uh, us three men. We also got braces. We did. We we got braces a couple weeks after that. And um, so we're now working on moving our lower teeth around because we have some pretty gnarly rotations in our canines and just the whole ectodermal dysplasia um, stuff is... Ordeal. Yeah, so we're, yeah. We're, we're fixing that slowly but surely through braces. Yep. And we just got them tightened for the second time. Earlier this morning. We were kind of worried about Swarm's halo. It's... Because after we had to readjust it, it seemed like it's still slipping down. Yeah, if you look at my brother and I, and you look at the halo in relation to our my, eyebrows. You can see my beautiful eyebrows really well. <laughs> oh, okay. And Soren's, uh Mine's just a hair lower than his. Exactly. Um, so, you know, I, I started to notice it lowering a little bit. Um, 
when my septum started to alleviate a little bit and I was actually able to breathe through the right side of my nose and I was thinking, what's happened? Um, I think it's moved down a little bit, but I, I'm really not too concerned about it. I think it'll be okay. That's okay. We're in the consolidation phase, so we're really not turning or right. moving, moving the maxilla forward anymore. So I don't really think that's something to worry about. But me, on the other hand, um, I was, I don't know if I was just not being cautious enough, but over the course of the last couple of weeks, um, I think this has been slowly slipping uh, oh. this way. I don't know if it's just the tension on the wire, but you can you can definitely see that um, the one on my left has a, a, a an angle here, and it's been slipping, and this has just been coming down. Also, you notice that mine are tilted down. Mm -hmm. Well, when we when we raised the halo up, it pulled my upper jaw up so far that I almost had no central incisor display, so it completely pulled my teeth and everything. I mean, maybe four four millimeters or so, a lot. And we decided that turning these down slightly and uh, releasing some of the tension, so if we continue turning, it would start to pull these down. What I realized after is that we probably should have turned them the other way, so it would have actually been pulling the wires down. And that would have As you can see right here. Do you wanna go make a smoothie right now? Eventually. Should we do a here, smoothie? Here, smoothie montage? About your, uh... Smoothie montage right now? Wow! Don't worry, guys. I actually even did out at the end. I gave him more. So he did. Yeah. Yeah. This is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just so you know, a couple important dates before we give you the next update video. We do get this off August sixteenth. Yeah of 2019. So that's that's the date we're really looking forward to. It's about three and a half weeks at this point. So that's when we get it off. We're gonna get all of it off on the same day. We're gonna go to our orthodontist, Dr. Johnson, to get all the teeth stuff taken off, and then we'll get the halo taken off at Dr. Margolis's office later in that day. And I'm sure we'll we'll film that and make another video. So stay tuned, please, mm -hmm. um, to watch us get these things out of our head. The thing with having, um, really awful teeth and multiple jaw surgeries and all of the above is that we have lots of content to watch. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we really don't have a problem creating videos because there's just so much going on. Yeah. So if you guys really honestly want to stay tuned with us, then feel free to subscribe and check out our channel because this is something that we would like to grow and so we can help other yeah. people who are doing jaw surgery and these kind of things because it's daunting and it's good to know that uh, other people are going through it too. Yeah, one of the biggest things for me is being able to go through it with this guy. Not everyone has that, you know? And for for me, it's really helped, and I'm sure I've been able to help Joan as well and mm -hmm. having someone to relate to. Yeah. And if we can if we can help you all if you're going through something similar, that, that means the world to us. So if you're going through the same thing or you have any apprehensions, feel free to leave a comment or contact us and we'd be happy to talk with you because this is something we're pretty passionate about. Yeah. So... Thanks for sticking with us, and we'll see you August 16th or beforehand if we decide to talk about something else. Yep. <laughs> Later, guys. Nice.